Hello, possums. Drama Smith here. Outside the Mad Mushroom shop and bar. Now, we are going to be working here today. Not in this bit. This is pretty much done. I've had a great suggestion for what to do with up there. And when we go to 114, I'll do that. But today, we are working down here. Under it. Um, I checked with Frill. It's okay for me to build a mushroom farm under my shop. But I don't think it's going to be that straightforward. Yeah, all right, there's cows down here. That's okay. But um, there tends to be other things down there too. There's a lot of cows down here. And there's a sheep. Hello, sheep. Okay, well, we shouldn't have to dig out too much. Now we may have to dig out a bit. I can often hear, though. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's where we are. But I can often hear zombies and things down here. Right. Hello, cow. So we know that's the edge of the shop here. And we know that that's where the proper floor starts. Jackson Wild did a good job of lighting down here. I just don't understand why I often hear skellies. Right. I shall dig out space for the mushroom farm and then we can get building. I've done a lot of digging. <laughs> this still isn't quite dug out enough, but I have discovered where all the mob noises are coming from. All I found directly under the farm was a whole lot of cows, which I killed, and which now, thanks to those cows and thanks to Biz, I've got half the bar stool covers I need and well on the way to another one. So that's good, but... Wow, okay. This is why we're getting mob noises. Wow. Oh, hello, creeper. And oh, there's more over there. Not more creepers, just more dark cave. Where did it go? Oh, it's there. Okay. I was right about there being a big cave network under spawn. Let's get rid of you. Goodbye. Now, I think we might just dig our way over there. Pop down torches as we go. And we might just pop a bit of light in there. Just to... Ease things a bit. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. That, on the other hand, is horrible. Although, oh, there's a mine shaft down there. Hey, Alphas, did you know there's a mine shaft directly under spawn? Cool. Okay. I was going to block this off. But I've lit it well enough now. I think we might just make an access point. Right, I will put a door on that. Okay, I'll get back to digging. I can still hear skellies. There's still something under here. Hmm, I might talk to you sooner rather than later. Alright, there's a zombie groaning somewhere under us. 
I've got no idea where, although I suspect just down there. I'm not going to do anything about it at the moment. I have got everything dug out for our mushroom farm. I'm about to build it. Now, I'm building the mushroom farm designed by Paul Soares Jr. in 2011. It still works. Brilliant little mushroom farm. I have made a couple of little changes. I've got hoppers which go into chests. Um, instead of using a sticky piston with a block for water dispensing, I'm going to actually use a dispenser. It's the amazing thing when you've got new innovations. But, um, oh, I need to get a couple of things. But the point is, 2011, the design's still good. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, because I can, is I'm going to use mycelium. That means I don't have to worry too much about light levels for my mushrooms. It can be a little bit high and they won't mind. I'd rather that than be constantly worrying about mobs spawning in here. I don't want to come down to harvest mushrooms and be blown up by a creeper. So we've got two rows. Um, we've got two platforms. This first platform is eight blocks long. This next platform is six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll use the lights from the farm for this. But for the moment, let's just pop some extra light down just to prevent problems. I will link Paul's farm in the description. Um, he's got a good little tutorial. Go check it out. He's worth checking out actually. So I need to put in the redstone. Oh, actually, I need to fill in that and put in the rest of the mycelium. Back in a tick. I've got it mostly set up. I've got all the mycelium in. Now, this is going to use water to harvest it. If I accidentally leave this on and I wash all that mycelium away, it won't matter because it will spread from this. That's why I've got the mycelium up the sides. So what we want to do now is put in the water... I should have I should have a couple of glass blocks with me. I don't. It shouldn't matter. All right, let's pop down our redstone box. Let's get out what we need. The dispenser, not the dropper I accidentally made. And we need the lever last of all. So we're just running in redstone I'll put the dispenser in maybe yes now question uh, do I know what I'm doing and if I don't I'll just have to fix it. All right, let's just pop a couple of torches down. I'd rather have too much light at the moment than not enough. Well, according to this, I should get a signal without. Let's let's try it. So I only need the one repeater. Here's the other question. Does that fire? Probably not. <laughs> and then I'll just have to adapt and change. Which I can do. 
All right, to all you redstone boffins who are going, yeah, no, that won't work. I actually suspect it won't work, so we'll see. Oh, my goodness. It works. It washes all my redstone away, but it works. Hooray. Why aren't you undispensing? Okay, I'll pop my redstone back in. Miracle. Something I made actually works. And I might change that lever for a button. I don't know. Okay. Next thing. Pop it in. Cover it up. That's why it comes one out. I definitely need to alter this. Excuse me a minute. Now we see if that works. Here it comes. Does it stop? Yes. And that should see torches in there. It does. Turn it off. I'm definitely thinking a button may be the way to go with this. Wow, those zombies are close. Right, in terms of farm structure, all I've got to do is plant mushrooms. It's done. What I've got to do now is just work out the lighting so I don't get unfriendly visitors. I'll get that done. And that's the farm fully lit. Um, it's not the most attractive of things, but this took ages. I am literally beyond caring. <laughs> Given that most of the mushrooms for the Sydney market are grown in dank, damp, disused railway tunnels, I don't think this is too bad. I don't care what it looks like. I'm the only one who's going to see it. Probably. <laughs> So all that remains is to plant mushrooms. Now I'm just going to put some in. Um, even though I've got mycelium, and it technically doesn't matter what the light level is, I have still been careful to keep everything under 12. I think apart from one spot, everything's 10 or under. Most of it's 8 or 9, so... As this has been built in spawn, it should just grow. I can harvest mushrooms. I can restock the shop. That's not bad. We might give it one test. I replaced the lever with a button. So we'll give it a go. There we are. It all comes down. And then I turn it off. Shouldn't it just go on and off? I'll work on that. Anyway. One mushroom farm. And a whole lot of zombies that i got to clear out. But that's it. And I said I was finished. But I wasn't. <laughs> and if we listen... No hostile mob sounds, just passive mobs. That's because I thought, well, I can grow mushrooms here, which I've been doing, and it's doing okay. It's a little slow, but it's all right. But um, if I want to restock my mushroom blocks, if for some reason 
some wild and crazy reason I managed to sell some. I don't want to have to go all the way back to my base and all the way back here. So I dug in here. I found a large cave, which goes down to an even larger cave behind that wall. And I lit all that up so no mob sounds. And I made in here a giant mushroom farm. So I just pop a mushroom here. I bone meal it. And then I harvest it. And I could harvest it for small mushrooms, that's fine, but I've got the mushroom farm there, so I just use a silk touch axe and I harvest it for the large mushroom blocks. And this is Avamance's adaption of K1's giant mushroom farm. Now, I'll link those, but um, if you haven't already checked out their channels, they're both alphas, go check them out. Go check out all the alphas, they seriously are worth it. Not just for their alpha craft stuff, but for everything else they do. They all produce really interesting content. So now I really am finished. I've got my large mushroom farm and I've got my small mushroom farm. And that really is it this time. So on that note, I'll say thank you for watching. And you know what to do if you've liked this, whack that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And remember to hit that notification bell. And I'll see all of you next time. Bye.